Hello, my name is Dr. Mandala, and today of Spirituality Talk, I'm going to answer a viewer's question that a lot of people in this world are probably wondering. <laughs> so we get right to the question. Here it is. Hi, Dr. Mandala. Thank you so much for your videos and responses. The older I get, the more I am suspicious that this world isn't real, that we are living in a dream world, an illusion. What are your thoughts on this concept? So first of all, when I was a little kid, um, I was in a, um, I was living in a childhood that was very abusive, uh, seeing a lot of domestic violence around me, living in uh, poor situations, clothings torn up and all that kind of stuff, feeling like I was living in like a war-torn country type of feeling, like a feed the, feel the, feed the children kind of vibe. Um, so when I would go outside and lay in the front yard on the grass and look up in the sky, I just felt like everything was false. The clouds didn't look real, nothing looked real to me. Um, and I think the reason why, and, and the reason why a lot of people feel this way, is because there's so many sensitive souls that come down to earth. <clears throat> there's so many sen sensitive souls that see the truth, that see the wisdom behind people, that see the deceit behind certain people. Um, there are certain people that are so aware, they're born into this world aware, <clears throat> yet they're suppressed as a kid to not see uh, the truth within uh, all the lies. Um, I do believe that we do manifest a lot of the things that appear before our eyes, whether we realize it or not. It can just be from thinking about something so much and then it just appears and it starts to happen. <clears throat> that same thing happens with fear and this world and um, it does feel like a dream and illusion uh, but in my opinion like you've seen on my dream talk videos I feel like the dream world is just yet another world trying to help us with this world which is all the time called the mundane world or the waking world um, I think that there's a lot of things that government does to manipulate our world to make us feel like uh, we're living in a world of crisis and fear all the time and we're on a deadline. I definitely think that there's that illusion that's created before our eyes. A lot of people, when they watch TV shows and a lot of these movies, it um, makes them feel fearful because these movies do that. They're, they're made just basically to to create fear, to create um, self-consciousness, self making you feel unsure about your life. Instead of uplifting, there's so many movies that are just go down, drag you down. I'm not saying there's none that are uplifting, but a lot of them, they are being made. It's kind of like a replay of the same themes, only different actors and actresses um, trying to portray um, the world differently. So yeah, um, ever since people were children, a lot of people that were little kids, they grew up looking at this box called the television set. And that box was originally made as a mind control machine. Um, there's more history behind that. If you'd like for me to go further into it, I can. Because I've, uh, I've read and researched and learned more about the television set and what its purpose was in the beginning. Um, so yeah, I think that yes, there are situations and people in higher up uh, stature that will um, create these illusions via through holograms. And I talked about this before in one of my videos, uh, but I could go further than that. But just like they'll put, put out holograms or create false flags uh, that aren't real, but just to can continue to keep people in this state of fear. So, um, I wouldn't really pay too much attention to all of that. I mean, there's so many distractions out there that they're keeping you from really accessing your gifts and remembering why you're here on Earth in the first place. So, yeah, like I say, um, if you can, connect with nature every day. Set aside what you're doing, your busy day if you're stressed out, and if you can, get outside in nature and just kind of be with yourself and reflect on all the things that happen to you during your day and see what's real and what's not real because um, in the midst of what seems like uh, a real real a real situation where you're gonna you're in a lot of trouble and you're like stressed out 
If you can have some time to step away from the situation, you can see the reality of it. Um, there is a lot of fear being projected out into this world. And then there, through that fear comes illusions a lot of the times. And people start to misunderstand each other. Communication starts to break down. So yeah, um, <laughs> that's probably a lot more you were thinking of hearing. But I don't think it's the, as the older I get. I feel like I felt like this ever since I was a kid. I felt suspicious um, because, you know, one adult figure would tell me one thing and then I see just the opposite. So um, a lot of contradictory uh, views going on that can't, went on in my household when I was growing up. And as I got older, I saw the same thing repeating with people outside of the household. Uh, doing these things, repeating these type of uh, behaviors and perpetuating more and more, just, just spreading more and more fear out into the world. And um, that's the dreams and the illusions that people get tied up into because they want to, a lot of the stuff they want to believe in because it's too hard to move on to the next level of the progression of where you're supposed to be on your spiritual path. So, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed today's show. Thank you, viewer, for offering up this question for today's show. And I hope I answered it uh, sufficiently enough to help you in any way. And I hope it, I helped anybody out there that's thinking the same things, because I'm sure a lot of people are. So, yeah. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below on what you think of today's topic. And if you leave a question, I can answer that question in an upcoming video. You can even email me at blacknails31 at yahoo.com. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.